What's up guys, Chris here, back again with another video on the channel. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about what to specifically keep or sell when you pack it over the first couple weeks of FIFA. And this is specifically for the first couple days as well, pretty much those first seven days. I want to show you guys what, based off of FIFA 20 graphs, and I'm going to go also delve into the FIFA 21 ratings a little bit, show you guys um, initially what I might keep, what I might sell out of those. So we're going to get through that. I'm going to probably make a video like this as well as we get the full game and we can find out prices on certain cards and I'll make another video like this. This is kind of like a pre-market tip for some of you guys studying some of the graphs and stuff like that. So if you guys do enjoy my content, drop a like and subscribe to the YouTube as well. I'd very much appreciate it. Now, the first the first things I want to look at is informs. Informs is definitely the, the first thing you want to be looking at. These are cards that are the least supplied of any cards in the game because they are the first seven days. And those first seven days consist of the EA uh, EA web app, early access, and EA access, which is not a huge portion of people onto the game. So, in terms of inform fodder, I would take the coins on anything you have with like a Kashani type card, a Moreno type card, Nani. These kind of cards I would take the coins on because those coins in the beginning of the year can do more for you than you holding for a couple months and waiting for it to rise about 10,000 coins. You can make 10,000 coins in an hour with the coins that you sell this card for. You look at Kashani here, it's 14,000 coins. He doesn't go to 20K until December. You don't want to hold for 6,000 coins profit. That's just a waste of your time. So I would probably take the coins on the fodder EA, remember, you have to remember that EA has full control over the market, and they're not just going to release an SBC that makes your SBC fodder go up a lot, especially in the beginning. I think they wanted to drain a lot of people out before they released a good value SBC that made fodder rise. Uh, the first fodder SBC that, that made a lot of things rise this year was uh, the Baby Icon, which I believe was middle to, to late November, I think, so... You know, they, they took a long while before there was an SBC that came out to make cards go up, really. Um, now, the metal ones, you can't really go wrong here. The Delaney's, Mertens, Benzema, Mane, De Jong, Talifico, Aurier, Neuer. These kind of cards, you can literally hold those cards if you pack them. These are cards that should rise as more people get onto the game after the Standard Edition. After the 27th of FIFA 20, we saw a lot of cards went up. Um, you look at any of the graphs, they just continue to rise after that standard edition release date, which this year is October 9th. So hold cards after October 9th for the meta informs. I think that will be fine. Again, like I said, these are the least supplied cards on the game because they're there for the first seven days of the, of the year and not many people are on the market these days opening up packs and stuff like that. So keep these kind of cards, the Benzema's, the Mertens, the Mane's, the, the De Jong's, the Laney's, those kind of cards you want to keep. They will rise. And I can show you any graph if you guys want me to right now. Um, just kind of showing you how these cards rise into middle to late, middle October. And then some of them even to like early November I had risen. You see these graphs, they just continue to rise. Delaney, uh, you look at Mane here. All right, if you, if you pack a Mane, yeah, you could probably do a good amount of stuff with 700,000 coins. But, I mean, he goes all the way to 1.2. If, you, if, if you're an RTG, maybe you do take the coins. Just because you could probably do a lot more with the 800k. But if you're someone that's buying FIFA points those first couple days, just hold a guy like Mane. Uh, I wouldn't sell that. A guy like Mertens as well. Went from like 130 the first couple days. Yeah, 130, 290. Can make, goes all the way to 550 to 600,000 coins. I wouldn't take the coins on that unless you just are really in need of coins. Like, you can't figure out how to make coins with like 2,000 then yeah take the coins make a decision for yourself that is going to benefit your account but if you know how to trade with a low budget a card like this you probably want to keep just because it's going to go up uh in the future it's all about also understanding your club situation with a lot of these keeper cells uh if you are in dire need of coins and you see a potential investment that it that intrigues you uh yeah, take the coins on a card. You know, I'm not going to stop anyone from taking a co uh, coins on a card. If they think that an investment that they can make, they can buy 10 of a certain card, and they think it's going to rise about 5k per card, and that's going to be more worth your while in the short term, then do it. I'm not going to discourage anyone from doing that, but from a 
just from a rise or goes lower standpoint these cards will continue to rise into middle october and then some into early november uh, like i said the fire you would probably want to uh sell those right away you would definitely want to i remember packing fifa 19 i packed jaka the first day i sold him for like sixteen thousand coins and then he probably went up a decent amount but i was able to do a lot with those sixteen thousand on fifa 19 so that's the first part of this video now i want to get into the the gold SBC fodder again a guy like Busquets I would take the coins on right he's 26,000 coins here take the coins because you could do a lot more with 26k in that those first couple days uh instead of waiting until he gets about 34 I mean you're essentially letting him rise 8,000 coins here like from where he was at 26 going all the way to 34 I would take the coins there why would you wait about four weeks or three weeks really for him to rise eight thousand you can make eight thousand in 25 minutes with twenty six thousand coins on on a carly busquets so spc fodder anything that is not needed for people's teams take the coins on those i would very much strongly advise from uh for that now guys like Semedo, and these are the super meta players right these are the guys you want to keep these are cards that are going to be going into people's teams that after the 27th they're going to skyrocket. 21,000 coins here goes all the way to 48. Pretty much doubles in price. All right. A guy like Semedo works. Uh, a guy like Marcus Rashford. These are cards. And I'm going to go through some of the FIFA 21 ratings with you guys as well. Kind of talking about what to keep and what to sell. A guy like Marcus Rashford, right? Continues to rise. Goes all the way to 90,000 coins. Look at everything after September 27. 77 goes all the way to 90, right? And you might say to yourself, these aren't like huge profit margins. But these are these are coins that you might valuably need um, at the beginning part of the year. I'm just telling you guys in a keep or sell mentality if you want to keep the car because it's going to rise. Or you sell it because you just don't think it's going to rise in the long term. Um, a guy like Martial, I always kind of show you guys Martial. He goes up a ton. Um, every single year, Martial is just one of those cards that always rises in the beginning. Goes all the way up to about 67,000 coins on October 3rd. If you want to be safe, and I've said this in other videos briefly, if you want to be safe on any card that is under 85 overall in meta, you can take the coins between this Thursday before the first weekend league and the Thursday before the second weekend league. Those are the those are the 10 days where you can take the coins on most 80 to 85 overall cards, and you can be safe with that. That's probably when you would want to sell a card like that um in that span now during the first day if you find a card a non-rare card and i said this in my a couple of videos ago but a lot of the non-rare cards i would sell but if they have a really good nationality and they get really good links maybe you let a card like that rise a little bit and see if he goes up because of advanced sbcs look at it like vangioni here 2.4 goes all the way to 6.6 .6. that could be a kind of card like the french left backs like i was talking to you guys about last few videos maybe you just keep that card because he might go up a couple thousand coins the next day find the other not you're gonna get with your welcome backpacks you're gonna get about probably 16 uh non-rare golds so if you keep a guy like vangioni who's at 2.5 that first day goes to six the next day you could probably go and sell all of the other non-rares and still have enough to trade that day you'll probably get about 4k as well so you know in terms of like non rares i would take the coins on most of them but if they have good nationalities good leagues they fit in solutions i would keep that just to see if they go up that next day or two um now going into the fifa 21 part of this video or the whole video is fifa 21 but in terms of like what i would keep and what i would sell possibly Banucci take the coins first day 85 overall it's not gonna really be usable at all i got like linglet i would keep um a guy like leno Leno could be a card that rises maybe a little bit this year. I don't know that many uh, Premier League goalkeepers. I know you have Allison, you have Ederson. He might be a card that people go to look at. He might rise a little bit. Uh, Dries Springs will probably rise too. Uh, Skriniar is kind of like on the fence. You can either take the coins or see if you let it rise a little bit. Parejo, I would take the coins on that. Sonny, I would keep because he's going to get a one to watch and he's a super meta card. Rashford, I would keep. Pjanic I would sell most likely um although he is Barcelona he is newly transferred he possibly could get a ones to watch so maybe you go and keep this card uh Insigne he did pretty well last year he did rise a little bit last year so maybe you keep this he did get his plus uh a minus two downgrade though Ricardo Pereira I would definitely uh keep him uh Wijnaldum I would keep that's a Premier League card that's super meta all 70 plus stats 
Timo Werner I would keep. He's going to get a once to watch card. Um, ZH I would keep. He's going to get a once to watch, most likely. Uh, Rian Morris I'd probably would sell after like the first week or two. Luis Alberto I would sell. I don't think he's going to be a card that many people use. Uh, Marquinhos, maybe let it rise a little bit. Um, but he won't rise too much into October. He would probably go up a little bit early on, but then he'll probably fall off after supply. He's not a great center back. A guy like Kempembe is probably much more usable than a guy like Marquinhos. Uh, Gnabry I would keep. Um, Summer I would sell probably. Jordi Alba I would, I would probably keep as well. This is kind of like just like my initial thoughts of like some of these cards that we're seeing. De Jong I would keep. Uh, Rodrigo I would sell. Just not a usable card at all. Galashi kind of like... He's a little underrated. He's actually like a pretty good goalkeeper, and you know he's still an 85 overall. Um, Toby Aldevad, I would sell. Although he is, that's the Spurs badge. Yeah, he didn't leave Spurs. Yeah, I would sell this. He's not going to get a one swatch or anything. Godin got absolutely destroyed. I would sell that. Icardi is not a great card either. I would sell. Kyle Walker, I would keep. Sandro, I would keep. Uh, Christian Eriksen, uh, probably would sell that. I don't. He does have the five star, four star, I think, still. The 72 pace. He did get a plus, uh, a minus three, I think it was, a minus two or whatever. So you, you could probably make a decision on that one. Holland, I would keep that. I think he's just going to have a lot of hype in the beginning of the year. Ben Yetter, you definitely want to keep that card. Why is this on here? Get this out of here. Ilicic, I would sell. Uh, Felipe, I would probably sell as well. Fernandinho, wow. So he's an 84 center back this year. That's an interesting. I would sell that still. I don't think he has enough pace to really compete with other prime center backs that are lower tier than him. David Alaba, I would probably keep that. Uh, DeVry, not really usable. I would sell. Um, Callahan, not a bad card. I just don't see it. He's not the kind of card that rises a ton every year, though. If I look at Callahan from this year, right? Let me take a look. Where is Callahan? Let me let me see like where he went this year. Let me see. Did he go up in the originally? Go from like three point five to five. You can make the you can make an argument it, whether you want to keep him or sell him. Most of you guys will probably get the gamer on the twenty third anyway, so you could probably keep you could probably sell that right away. He's not going to go much higher than five thousand coins off the off the jump. Uh, and then the last th that first page, right? I want to show you guys that first page. Um, most of these cards you want to be keeping. The Messi's, the Ronaldo's, the De Bruyne's, Lewandowski, Neymar, uh, Oblak, Virgil, uh, Ma uh, Sala. Mane's going to be insane. He's going to go up so much, I think. Mbappe's going to go up a ton. Uh, Ter Stegen, Aguero, um, Ramos is going to go up. Uh, Benzema, I don't see him really going up that much, to be honest, just because he has the 74 pace. But people will use him over the first two weeks, so... May see a little rise. Um, Sterling, you could probably see him go up a little bit. He's a left wing now instead of a right wing. That's interesting. Conte would keep. Um, uh, who else? So Dybala's an 88 now. Okay. Dybala's an 88. That's interesting. What was Dybala this year? No, Dybala was already an 88, I think. Uh, but he's the center forward now. Uh, that's a great card. You would keep that. Uh, Luka Modric, I might even take the coins on that just because he doesn't seem really usable. Immobile, it looks like the, a really good striker in the beginning. I might keep that card and see if it rises a little bit. Um, but you guys get the point on the video. Uh, talking to you guys a lot about, you know, FIFA 21, what cards to keep and what cards to sell initially. Like I told you guys, if you are in a situation where you need to take the coins on a card, please do it because... You could probably make coins on most cards if you sell it right away. And then if you know how to make coins by investing or trading, then do it. But if you are somebody that is buying FIFA points that has a influx of other cards coming into your club already, and you want to wait as long as possible for a card to rise, this is what this kind of video is there for you. Um, so hopefully you guys did enjoy it. I'm going to obviously have more FIFA 21 content coming soon. Double uploads are going to be starting in the next couple days as well, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be one before 6 p.m. UK and then one around 11 p.m., so stay tuned. Thanks for watching today. Appreciate you guys. Drop a like on the video if you guys are new. Subscribe as well, and I'll talk to you guys in the video soon. Peace out.